right and give you praise. But through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting of your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice filled with wine. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Then gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of people who have died and have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray.
May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. And to all the departed brothers and sisters, especially the members of my family, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that 